Hello everybody, welcome to Poly Games. I'm your host Joseph, and today we're going to be talking about the PlayStation 5. Is it around the corner? Is it going to be announced at this year's E3 or next year's E3? That is what some articles coming out of the woodwork are suggesting that Sony is going to announce the successor of the PlayStation 4 either this year or next year. Now, these articles, I didn't think I would need to make this video. I didn't think I would. Th th it was necessary, but I've been seeing it too many times on my feed, on my social media, so I need to just kill this rumor right now, right here. And no, no way is Sony going to replace the PlayStation 4 so soon. That would be fucking ridiculous if they did that. The first example is the strongest and it's the easiest example. Sony's making way too much money off the PlayStation 4 right now to just give up and start a smaller marketplace. That would be just silly and stupid of them to do. The PlayStation 5 would just be killing any of the momentum that the PlayStation 4 has had for years now. Remember that the PlayStation 4 is closing in on the 60 million units sold gap. That's a big number. The PlayStation 4 isn't just selling good software or hardware wise, it's also selling good software wise. It is the clear leader this generation and it's printing Sony cash. And if they didn't have the PlayStation 4 right now, I don't even think Sony would be in business at the moment. That's how much Sony relies on PlayStation to succeed because it is one of the few and only outlets at the moment that Sony is succeeding in. So creating a new and improved console would just not be in their best interest. The second reason and a more convoluted reason uh, is that Sony and Microsoft have already kind of announced that they are going to string out the generations to make sure that they last longer so that they can get any little bit of juice out of these consoles as they can and that is for two reasons uh first they made these consoles at a profit sony and microsoft both wanted to make sure that they have money to the, reinvest in themselves so whatever money that would make uh make out of the hardware of the playstation 4 at launch they would make sure they take that money and throw it back into themselves so that they could create more ip and more studios and you see that paying off this year again i'm not going to name off the huge list of games but there's like seven eight games in the span of three months that have come out for the PlayStation 4 and pretty big double A or triple A titles. So again, Sony is is doing really well. Why the fuck would they do this to themselves? Now, the question is, okay, they're making them out of profit. Uh, yes, the redesigns as well. Redesigns are always there for companies to make the product cheaper and smaller and more cost effective. So they make more money and you save money as well. But the question you might be ask, asking then is, why the PlayStation 4 Pro? Why the Scorpio? And that's a good question. My my feeling on the Pro and the Scorpio is it's course correcting. That the same reason why the PlayStation 4 and uh, Xbox One were underpowered when the critics uh, were talking around 2013 that these were underpowered consoles for next generations is because they didn't think Sony or Microsoft, they didn't think 4K would be coming out so soon. And seeing 4K come, they are taking these consoles and saying, here they are for those people that have the 4K TVs, that have the 4K monitors, here's your solution to that. And you see, Sony took a very economical way out of it. The console is beefier, but you're not going to see many games at native 4K at 60 FPS or even 30 FPS. Uh, you're going to see more of around that, that range when we're talking about 4K. And even with the Scorpio, we don't know and we can't see what it's capable as of yet because all we see are numbers and specs on paper. Uh, but when that console comes out and it is a powerhouse and it plays games 4K natively at 60 FPS, that console is going to be expensive. Everybody's saying it. Our hopeful thoughts is that it's around $500. My realistic take is... 600 that's what my gut's telling me some people are even stretching it out to be 699 which i don't even think is fucking possible but there's some people out there saying that so by the time 2020 comes out this console is going to be in the affordable range it's going to be 400 300 bucks by the time new uh new hardware arrives in 2020 
2020. And by 2020, uh, remember that the Scorpio's power isn't going to be that powerhouse anymore. That Sony and Microsoft are looking for economic ways to get the more powerful systems out there. And what these next systems are going to probably boast is 4K quality in 60 FPS. Thank you for tolerating that hard edit. Power doesn't mean anything. One of the articles are like, how can Sony give up the power to the Xbox? That's why they need to make another console. Power doesn't mean anything. You see, marketing and PR is what makes a console or breaks a console. You saw that this generation with the Xbox One, their PR and their marketing fell flat on their face. They gave this one to PlayStation. You see that the PlayStation 3 was a mix of pricing, wrong pricing, and wrong marketing, and wrong PR. They had the total wrong pitch. And look, Microsoft, though, realistically, the PlayStation 3 later caught up and then uh, actually surpassed the Xbox 360 in sales. When it came to software, Xbox was printing cash because developers, it was easy for them to code for, it was easier than the cell processor, and people were playing third-party games there and not on the PlayStation 3. So it's all about marketing, it's all about PR, it's not so much about power. It's about how you market that power. So with that, I hope that explains a little bit to you, but the main reason is Sony's making too much money to just cut and make a new console. I believe in 2020, if we make it that long, uh, we'll see a new console come in the horizon, or you might see more type of revisions and maybe the end of generations, who knows? But all I know is that we're not gonna see any type of new hardware uh, from Sony anytime soon. So with that said, I wanna know what you guys think. You, you think I'm full of shit? Let me know in the comments section down below. What is what are you thinking? Uh, when is the PlayStation 5 going to hit stores? Let me know in the comments section down below. It's fun to predict, but it's not fun to say that this is fact. You know, and, and seeing these articles out here has been really annoying. Seeing people going, well, it looks like I need to save up for this holiday season. I'm like, are you are you fucking serious? <laughs> So uh, with that said, everybody, I, I hope we had fun here debunking bullshit. And with that said, if you like this video and you want to see more, please hit subscribe. Remember to like this video. Sharing is also caring. And uh, with that all out of the way, everybody have a terrific day.